Can you talk about the current state of the cloud security landscape? What cloud security has done is mirrored what happened in physical, you know, when you had data center security, which is there are these additional services you can layer on top to protect. So, you know, when people had data centers, they bought devices for DDoS protection or they bought firewall devices. I think the big thing is for any reasonable size organization, they're probably not using one cloud. They're probably using multiple clouds and there are different types of offering by different cloud providers. And actually one of the issues for using the cloud for, for application delivery, especially when you use more than one cloud, is how do you know you've got the same level of security everywhere? And that's one of those interesting challenges which has come about because we have dispersed things onto the internet rather than keeping them all in a data center, which you, know, you might control yourself. So what can people do? Well, first of all, recognize this change is happening and also recognize that it got accelerated by the pandemic because suddenly everybody was at home and suddenly all those beautifully protected resources inside an enterprise were now needed to be accessed from all sorts of places. But the reality is that attackers go after any weak point on the network. So I think you have to look at the whole ensemble of the network say, and, and the infrastructure and say, where are the weak points? So zero trust is great, but that doesn't get rid of the risk of DDoS attacks against infrastructure that exists, right? That doesn't get at, deal with perhaps the risk of, you know, someone breaking into an application and being able to exploit something in the application, which firewalls can help with. So I think as with all security things, you need layers of protection.